morning, you guys. Guess what day it is? It is time. A little early though, but we're moving in to my setup for May. I'm very excited about this. A little sad because it does mean I'm leaving my purple plumeria vintage Aurora, but we're moving in to my majestic teal canyon leather binder from Franklin Covey. This is a classic binder. I have showed this before in a um, I wasn't, I don't think it was a haul. I think it was just a regular video. Um, but I got this one and I got the Sunrise Lavender as well. Um, and they are full green leather. They smell funky though when they first get to you. They didn't smell like my last vintage Aurora's. But apparently they are full leather. So, um, this is the color. So pretty. And I, my theme is butterflies. So I have a variety of cardstock in here ready to go. I've got my new inserts ready to go. And all I have to do is follow through and switch over all of the goodies. So um, this is my beautiful vintage teal or <laughs> vintage Aurora. And she is so packed right now. And I'm so sad. Like, I love this binder so much. And she was so chunky. She'd close, but not, not by much, you know? Um, but I don't want to ruin my binder. And I love this binder so much. I'm in love. This is probably my favorite binder. And it was my favorite setup. And I would do a full flip through, but I took out all the pages to make room, like all of the dailies. So the only flip through I could really do right now is probably just going through the weeks. So I guess I could do that because that's always fun. I'll just show a little review of my month. So I haven't yet crossed any of these off. Um, I mean, it's hard because it's still the end of the month. We still have one more week to go, basically. But I'm filming this early. Today is the 23rd. No, the 24th. Oh, my goodness. Time's running away from me. It's the 24th of April. So technically six more days, right, until the end of the month. But I've got a variety of videos posting between now and then. And I thought, um, because the weekly goes until the beginning of April, so I wanted to post the monthly before that. So that's why this is so early, because um, last month, was it last month? Yeah, March, I went right to the end. So actually, I wasn't in my vintage world as long as I thought I would be. Um, I'm just going to pull out my budget book here. So, um, professional development. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and cross off some of these because if I don't, I'm going to have to manage my, my goals for, um, I wonder if we should, I don't even know if I, if I have a task on my, here, let's see. Let's pull up the month first and let's look at this. I don't know. Okay. I do have review goals. The only thing I don't have on here is um, switch over binder, which I usually do first. But the thing is, if I switch over binder, I review the goals after. So what we're going to do today is review goals first. So I'll look at the, the goal page. I'll look at the monthly page. I'll do a flip through of my weeks and then we'll switch binders and then we can make new goals because that makes more sense to me. Okay. So I don't have like the new goals even written in my Jane's agenda goal, goal list yet. As you can see, May is completely blank. So professional development, I have been following along with this. I've been keeping up with the homework. I have been um, doing all of the reading. As a matter of fact, I've been trying to get through like Tiny Habits, which is a secondary book in Jane's Agenda Master Plan class. I've been trying to get through it. And the last chapter is like kind of a reiteration of the entire book, but it's for like group members or like leadership. And I'm like, eh. This doesn't even apply to me. I'm not feeling this chapter. So I'm just going to like grace over it and then I'm done. <laughs> but um, I've been keeping up with it. I've been doing, you know, two, three days of professional development because um, I'll usually take the class. I'll do a little bit of reading. The next day I'll do more reading. And then the third day I usually finish the second book. So it's usually been about three days. Spiritual, I can't honestly cross it off because I haven't been doing three days a week. I've been doing it most two for the last two weeks or so. For two days in a row now, I did read in the sun, so I can cross that off because it's finally getting warm enough to sit outside. YouTube intros I haven't touched. I am adding this as one of my 
my goals to tackle using the tips I'm getting from Jane's Agenda Master Plan class. So I'm going to leave it alone. I'll focus again on May. Basement project haven't touched and health is kind of like ongoing. So it kind of deserves a dot instead of a check mark because it's not done. Neither is this. I don't think this is going to happen. <laughs> and garage cleanup, we haven't even started it, but I'm hoping the um, the end of this, like the, this weekend coming up. So it's still April. <laughs> so I, I mean, I would be able to cross it off if I finished it in April. Okay, and then CP payment, it's just our bill payment, it won't come out until the 30th, so I can't cross that off. Um, because I know that's a definite deadline. Okay, so that is the goals. And now we go to schedule. Let's look at the monthly. It was pretty busy this month. I actually miss March. I feel like March just flew by too. I feel like the last two months have flown by. I know people talk about it all the time. Like, oh, time's going by so fast. But it truly is. Like, I... I'm looking at the calendar and I'm like, it can't already be May. It can't. Like, I'm still planning for the Rock and Gem show for March. <laughs> That's how I feel. Yeah, I feel sad. I feel sad that time is just flying by. And I'm trying to make the most of it. I truly am. But I just, it's still passing so quickly. Okay, so professional development is good. Um, the books I have almost completely read will be done uh, next week, I guess. Spiritual focus, um, spiritual book. See, these two I have been focusing. I just haven't done three times a week. And my spiritual book, I've got two of them. Moon Magic is almost done. I'm just reading the last little bit at the back. So I'm going to cross it off. This week, I'll actually have four books read. Like, I'm going to be crossing off. Actually, yeah, four for sure. So, I mean, I did really good. Read Fiction Daily, I have done that. I did finally read outside. Haven't worked outside yet, but have read. Um, YouTube intros, nope. Basement cleanup, nope. Health habits, yes, I have. Um, nothing in the garden department yet. I'm probably going to start May because it's just, it's still too cold at nighttime here. I think it can still get below zero, to be honest. Let me just look at my weather app because it's going to drive me nuts. Mm. I mean, two, one. So this week it's showing that it's going to be above one at nighttime every day, but you never know. It says the truly um, safe time isn't until after May 1st. Or sorry, May 1st. May long weekend, which is May 18th to the 20th. But I mean, it's going to be really nice this week. 21 today. It's going to be so nice. And then... Warm again on Saturday, Sunday, which will be also nice. So I'm planning on having a barbecue again on Sunday, maybe. Okay. Um, gardens, no yard cleanup. Um, I have the, well, the yard cleanup is like a constant battle. I did clean up the yard. I cleaned up all the dog stuff. I cleaned up all the garbage. We ha we live across from school. And so whenever it's windy, which is kind of a lot here lately, um, all of the garbage kind of like tornadoes into our yard because of the way we're situated. And my daughter has a playhouse in the backyard. And I looked in there yesterday and it's full of plastic baggies and lunch wrappers and just terrible. So I'm going to get her assistance and get her to help me pull it all out. It's really gross. Um, but I mean, I have cleaned it once or twice. <laughs> Clean garage? Nope. Clean car and Jeep? I did my Jeep. I'm going to cross it off because Chad can do his own car. And then baby stuff to Goodwill? Not yet. So I mean, there's quite a few things I did do. Um, this week, these things haven't come to pass yet. But yeah, I mean... I'll probably keep this still in my planner, my new one, because I'm not done yet. And on here, I don't know if there's anything I can cross off. I'm cross off the jeans agenda stuff because we're almost done the book anyway. Um, we're doing the May Classic setup now. Goal setup is done for business. And that's it. So not bad, not terrible. I've done most of the tasks. Okay, now let's look at the week. So this was week one. 
And I did use this Planners Anonymous sticker kit that was from uh, by Craftsmith from Michaels back before I realized Planners Anonymous was even a thing. <laughs> and I love these stickers. They kind of it used um, Hello Universe. They used um, Under the Stars. Like it was all mixed together. And I really liked it. And the kitty. I did. I started doing my weekly review here, starting from like the first of April. I never even filled out those little boxes. And I will be keeping um, this week, because we're not done this week yet, I'll be keeping the next few weeks in here um, in my planner as well. Okay, so yeah, I would go through my dailies, but it doesn't make any sense because I took out basically all of them. I went from the first because I wanted to keep the index here. And then I jumped to the 18th. <laughs> so I can show you those days, but tomorrow we'll do a full flip through from the, for the week. And I'll talk about stuff. So, um, so yeah, I mean, I did, I did pretty, pretty good though. And uh, let's see. The other thing I do is I'll go back once all of my notes, all my daily pages are in my my uh, storage binder. I'll go back and just pick out all the information. If there's anything I got, I have to leave in reference. I transfer it to my reference section after. All right. I think we're ready to switch everything over. Oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is, oh, I never even use those stickers. Oh, I'm going to go off camera now and I'm going to do the huge switch. And we're going to move in to my new majestic teal binder. All right, guys, so that is it for this switch. Now, as I was going through my home section, my reference section, and my project section, I do realize there's a whole bunch of things I need to take out. I also have to put new school inserts in here for my son. I kind of page through my sections here to see if I can take out anything. This is my reference, so for most of this, I think I need to keep it. Um, you know, this could probably go. I don't know, it was good. It's good to know exactly what's in my planner, though, so maybe not. Hmm. Okay, reading. Um, this can go.
So this is uh, Jane's Agenda Notes. I do have a bunch of notes in here that maybe I don't need to hold on to and I can just put some spare note paper in here whenever I run out because it's taking up a lot of room. And then projects. I'm going to get different note paper for this later on. That's the thing. I would like to have more room in here to be able to contain just note paper. That's the one thing that, that bugs me. So on the back of my page lifter here, I did put some sticky notes that I can use throughout the month. This is kind of the color palette I think I want. Um, kind of like gray and brown tones. So I'm going to keep that in there. Um, and as for everything else I think it's got to stay the only thing I could do is what I did last month is I took out like half of my dailies and kept until the 15th and that was it and then I pulled out half because that helps as well so maybe I'll do that again and then I have a little bit of extra room okay so the only thing is I don't have any spot to put my um, let's see, my task cards, so they might have to stay in the back, maybe, just like that, that should be fine back there. Okay, so I'm going to go to my week and put in my butterfly, oops. my butterfly page finder here okay i'll put these in the back and then i do have some stickers i want to decorate with i'm going to use these dots from cloth and paper they're kind of like this beige brown color but it'll go with the theme this month, the color. I mean, I could use teal, but I don't have any teal dots. So, um, all right, I think that's it. Now I just need to decide what um, dashboards are going where. So at the front, I have this one, which I'm not sure if I really want on the cover. Um, that's normally something I would put on the cover, but I'll show you what else I have here. I've got a variety of things, and there are a couple of things I forgot to print off too, so I think that's it. I don't want to make this too um, bulky here. But yeah, the one thing that I'm, I'm kind of neglecting here is I want to have a section for blank paper. So I can easily go to my list and be like, hey, here's some paper. The next step is to make new goals. So I'm going to go over to my goal section here. And I think I have all the important dates, but I have added a couple. So I'm just going to pull out my dot marker here. I think I've added a dentist appointment to the 8th. I'll just double check. So I've got Danica's birthday, Danny's party, dentist on the 8th, 12th is Linda's at birthday and Mother's Day, 
Victoria Day, and that'll be for Red Deer. So, yeah, the 8th and 11.30 is just the dentist. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is quickly fill in my goals and then we'll be right back. For the most part, this is what I want to accomplish this month. There seems to be a lot. Um, and this is just like the monthly items. So I think I can't, I think I got everything on here um, for my power sheets, but those are the main things. Um, a lot of planning again for the next month, and we will be doing the trip to Red Deer. Um, and that'll be on the, the Victoria Long Weekend. And yeah, just basically um, going through the motions of getting all the things done. So, um, oh, and then also I forgot to put on here, read outside. There we go. Then I'm going to the month. <clears throat> So oops, this is the next part of the, this. So I put the goals here. I fill out my calendar here. And then we'll do the work, the master task list.
All right, guys, I think we are done. So I'm just going to zoom out a bit so you can see everything. Um, I guess we'll look at the goals first. I mean, there's not, I didn't decorate that page. Nah, do we want to? Um, yeah, I mean, I've got a full, a full plate this month. And my goal is to read 10 books, but then I realized um, on here, I put four spiritual books. So we'll see. Um, if there were four spiritual books, I've got two master plan, master plan, and I'd have to read four fiction. I might be able to read more than that. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but anyway, I kind of like how I set this up. This is my goal slash kind of like overall focus for the month. So I really, I really like these pages. By the way, these are from the Teresa Collins Franklin Covey collection. Um, beautiful life collection, I should say. And I like how I, I like how it's set up because you can put birthdays, your weekly priorities, um, and then, you know, your goals or tasks. But like, again, I usually add all my tasks over here as well. Um, and then I just wanted to say the pen that I'm using is a Twisby. It is the mini, the grape one. So it's so cute. It's very petite and it's um, the same quality. So I've got a different, few different pens from Twisby now. The same quality as the Diamond 580, which is like, in my opinion, the, I feel like it's the best one. Um, but this is so small that it doesn't have the weight of the Diamond 580 um, in comparison Let's see here. Okay, so here's the diamond, the iris, diamond 580. So um, it's probably my favorite pen, but this is the height. So the mini is quite a bit smaller. Um, but the only reason, like, I guess I could get a different tip on this one. This is probably my favorite pen. But I have a medium nib, so if I go and get a fine nib, that will that will alleviate the problem with that. Um, but the only thing is, you can't get it in that pretty iris color, like that oil slick color. So um, it'll just be silver, I think. Um, but anyway, so the mini, what I did is I put two different color of inks in my pen to mix them. because I knew I wanted something that wasn't either of these colors. I wanted to mix it. So they're both from Ferris Wheel Press and this one is the Tokyo Bay Blue and this is Writing Desk, which is a brown color. So what did I did to get this color, it's kind of like a grayish almost, um, and it will change based on like when I fill the pen because this pen does not hold as much ink as a normal pen. Um, it's kind of mixed now, but I mean, this was, this was beautiful. It was like a teal color. Um, and then it depends how much I add of each ink, right? So the color might change a little bit, but it's kind of like this grayish color, but not really. It's got that hint of that, like, you know, the blue. And so I really like the way it's set up this month. I like the colors. I love my butterflies. Um, I got these from, let's see, honestly, it doesn't even say. I'm going to have to link it down below because uh, I don't remember where it came from, but they were from Etsy. So I will link that down below. And then these ones, I know um, it was like four sheets of stickers plus a freebie. This was from Watercolor Sticker Plans. So it gives you like a whole bunch of different sizes of butterflies, um, large, small, medium, and micro. So um, these ones are very vibrant. And then I also have some of my own that I haven't used yet, but I, I might. Uh, and then that's pretty much all the decorative elements I have as far as butterfly stuff. I just have these stickers. So um, I'll be using them throughout the weeks. Um, however, I was waiting for my Planners Anonymous to come in. Of, of course, like perhaps if I had waited one more week, it would have come in next week. I don't know. Um, but it is butterfly, like a butterfly kit. And um, it's chapters chapter four now i think it is and so it has shipped so if it is here next week i will use not tomorrow obviously but i will use that kit in this month which i'll be very excited for because um yeah that is that kit is perfectly perfectly timed for me to do a may like butterfly thing so i'm very excited about that actually so um as for my month 
I already talked about all of the kind of appointments that I had. And um, so for example, Danica's birthday is on the 1st, her party will be on the 5th. I have to do a little bit of party planning for that yet. So um, I haven't ordered her cake yet and I haven't purchased her gifts, um, but I will be doing that. I'm excited. I'm, I'm always excited to buy girl gifts. I don't know about you guys, but boy gifts just aren't as fun. You know, like I don't have as many ideas when it comes to boy stuff, but with girl stuff, the clothes are cute. The toys are cute. I'm just, you know, and ugh, I don't know what it is. Um, then Danica and I have a dentist appointment on the 8th, which is a Wednesday I'm planning on doing the gardening planting starting from the 10th um, that week until we go to Red Deer. Um, so my friend's birthday is on Sunday, so she'll probably go to um, karaoke either the Friday or the Saturday to, to celebrate. So I'm not sure what day that will be. Um, I put it on Friday anyway because I usually go on a Friday, but perhaps if she goes Saturday, I'll go on Saturday instead. And that'll be when I go by myself. I did put like the days that Chad and I'll go together will be on the 3rd and the 24th because we're in Red Deer on the 17th. Um, it's also Mother's Day on the 12th. So even though my friend's birthday is on Sunday, I won't actually see her on Sunday. I'll see her Friday or Saturday. And then I'll probably celebrate Mother's Day with my family from myself and my mom. Okay, and then um, Red Deer, I'm going to see if Chad can get off work a little bit early on that Friday so that we can leave at like 1230-ish. I'll have everything packed, ready to go, and then we'll come home on the Monday. My son has a whole bunch of days here. It's kind of like their spring break, so he's off on Friday. Um, I'll pull him from school. I might not even take him to school on Friday just so he's home and ready to go. Um, I'll keep him home. And then he doesn't go back to school till the following 20, the 23rd, which is Thursday. Okay. And then that's Victoria Day weekend. And that's pretty much it. And then we get into June. So for appointment wise, it's not huge. Like I don't have a lot of appointments, which is kind of nice. Um, but I do also, I've used these, uh, these stickers are all from Let's Planet. And let's plan it. Maybe I'll link that shop down below too, just so you guys have the link. I haven't purchased stickers from her in a while, but the last time I did, I kind of went a little crazy and I, I got a whole bunch of things. And you can actually make custom ones as well. Like you can, they're not like 100% custom, but they're, <clears throat> they're like, you know, pick your own out of like five different types. So it's as custom as, you know, you need, like for that type of sticker but I think you do pay a little bit of a premium. So um, moving on to my list, I just have my personal list here and my work list, and then I added a couple more stickers and that's it. So now what I'll do is we're gonna go through and do a quick flip through. Um, I probably won't flip through all of my pages in here because I do have some personal things in my reference section, but. Uh, we'll do the best that we can. So, um, also, okay, I'll, I'll talk about all of these things. So, I always, I've been carrying this around with me for a while. <clears throat> this is a, a picture strip that me and my son took when we went to West Ed together for the first time in like ever since he was old enough to go. We had had a doctor appointment um, for him that, I can't remember, I think it was a Thursday. We had a doctor appointment for him. And him and I went to West Ed. We went to the food court. It was just kind of nice because we sat there and um, we walked around. We went to the coin store and he got hockey cards. It was just really fun. And, and I like keeping that in here because it was a nice memory. And then um, a YouTube friend of mine. Hi, Nancy. If you're watching this, thank you so much. I did receive um, everything that you sent me. I think I mentioned this before, but um, Nancy and I are, have become pen pals. And... Um, she sent me a few goodies, which I was really excited to open and look through. And I found three sheets of this paper. Um, it's just like plain paper. It says it's from stickyclub.com and it goes with my setup perfectly. So I decided to just stick that in here in case, you know, in case I wanted to make a note of something. So that is just sitting there kind of as a decorative thing. I do have a requisition for my son in here too. Um, that's where I keep all my important documents if I need them. Um, so I've got an Ollie clip here. This is kind of like a neutral one to go with my, my setup. 
got some of my business cards, a picture of me and my two sons. I don't have a picture of my daughter in here, but um, speaking of that, there is this portfolio thing that came from Jane's Agenda this um, for May. I did a video on this. I'll link the video. And there's this piece here, which is kind of like um, you can put photos in here. So I'm going to set this up. I never had time to do it yet. I'm going to put like two photos per page maybe and then put these corner pieces on um, and then put this at the front of my planner just so I have something decorative to view. And I'll put pictures of my husband and my baby and my daughter. And I'm, I'm excited to set that up and put that in here. So I don't know where exactly, maybe under um, personal, which would be my family, or maybe at the front. I don't know. Um, okay, so this card, um, I got this from, this is a thank you card. I got this from HR Handmade when I placed an order. I can't remember what I purchased from there. I think it was like all of the moon the sparkly acetates from my my April setup, HR Handmade. And then she sent me this, so I thought, perfect. This is beautiful for this setup. It's like the one thing that I can put in here and it kind of matches. Um, these little cards are from Cloth and Paper. This, I don't know, it, it's like a silky card. Like the texture of it is so nice. And then this says, the return we reap from generous actions is not always evident just a reminder of myself to be kind and to do things for people that I would want them to do to me. And then this is from the Honey Bee Shop. It says just one more chapter because it's just my reminder to get my button gear and read. And actually, I think it's got a... I don't know if it has a protective coating thing on it or not, but it looks like it's, I don't know, bubbled up or something. Um, so that's from there. And then I've got two of my own planner charms that I made and they both go with my planner. So this one has a blue daisy with a blue and teal butterfly. So I just stick that one here. And then this one over here has two teal butterflies and they're both different. Okay. And they go with my planner. So I just put them on here. I put them on the goals tab in the first dashboard. Okay. And then this little thing, I got this from, it's actually supposed to be gold, but because I've got silver rings, I put it on the side. I guess it's like a little, it's a washi tape card. I don't know what it is, but this was from, I'm pretty sure it was Butterfly Skies. Is that what it was called? Um, it was an old subscription kit. I never got the subscription kit, but I purchased it after it was released because it was an older one. And this came in there, I believe having a hard time trying to remember, but I think it did. Um, so I just stuck that behind my business cards and it kind of pops up right there. <laughs> okay. So next, um, these clear page lifters are from Franklin Covey. Um, some binders have them. I think the, um, the Olivia binders came with them and the Teresa Collins binders came with them. And that's all I know. <laughs> Those are the only ones that came with clear ones. Everything else comes in black. So this cardstock is from Jane's Agenda. And I can't remember if I purchased this separately or if it was in a subscription kit. I'm thinking a kit and I can't remember which one now. Okay, all of my dividers are from Dividers R Us. These are the frosted ones. And I do make my own labels. So you, I sell these in the shop. They are completely customizable and the, they work best. I feel like the matte paper works really, really well. Okay, so then I've got my goal section. I've got my goals from uh, Jean's Agenda. And this, this one here is from um, Fancy Plants Co. Because it's a little bit different. Um, Jean's Agenda. And then I've got my Franklin rules and goals and values. Okay, this inbox, this is a um, a dashboard, um, a hybrid um, dashboard, it's called, from Jane's Agenda. And you, it's perfect size for sticky notes. So you can put sticky notes here, um, you know, to remind yourself. A lot of times what I'll do is if, instead of opening up my planner, because I'll be like, oh, I don't remember if I have like paper in there, which I remember I have to put paper in here. But 
um, if I don't know if I have paper, I just take a sticky note, which I have beside me on my desk, and then I can pop the sticky note on here and then reference it, reference, reference it later and put it in the right spot. Okay, I've got my inbox, which I'm planning on um, actually writing out a new one pretty soon. Okay, I've got my overview. This is from, I think this is from Cloth and Paper. Could be from Jane's Agenda. Now I don't know. It doesn't actually say. But these are from Cloth and Paper here. I just have a few inbox sticky notes. This is also from Jane's Agenda. This was from a subscription box. Okay, then I've got my Teresa Collins um, Future Log with Franklin Covey there. This is from Heather B. Co. from Etsy. All of them are. Um, this one's rainbow. I've got a gold one and then a silver one. Again, for uh, Teresa Collins, Franklin Covey for April and May. I only have April in there until May starts and then we'll move on. On to my weekly. Again, all of these are from Teresa Collins, Franklin Covey. The page finder is from Jane's Agenda. And these stickers are from Planners Anonymous and Craftsmith uh, from Michaels. That was a long time ago. And then I've got all of my new weeks. This one's ready for tomorrow to plan. Okay, again, Heather B. Co. And then I've got my daily inserts, and I only have half of May in here. Okay, this is a page finder from Franklin Covey, a weekly compass card from Franklin. Okay, and now this um, balance vellum is from Jane's Agenda, as well as this. I did purchase this separately. It was not in the subscription kit that I purchased. Okay, these are from... Fancy Plans Co. These little listers got a list sheets. These ones are from Jane's Agenda from a subscription box, but I think you can buy them separately now. Um, this one was from Fancy Plans Co., but I really like these like quad lists, but you can also get the same thing from Jane's Agenda. I have a variety of things in here. I'm just going to skip over. I also really like these things. Um, they're like reminders. So this one's Spring Readiness things that you can check and add to your schedule. And then quarterly reminders, which I also really appreciate. And then seasonal reminders, same thing. Okay, and then annual reminders. <laughs> I think if I took all of these out, I would also probably save myself a lot of room, but I love referencing them. But I mean, to be fair, I think what I'll do is I'll go through each of these things and just add anything to my planner if I have to, because I need to add paper and any valuable real estate is valuable. <laughs> okay, this is from Planners Anonymous from Butterfly Skies. This is the vellum and this is the acetate. I've got my budget sheets in there. Okay, same thing. This is from like a different kit, but it's still a, an acetate. And this is the vellum, but I actually laminated it. Okay, this is also from Jane's Agenda, but I purchased the laminated um, cover. This is Heather B. Co. Then I've got my reference section, my reading section. This I just actually took a picture from online and I printed it. Um, I think I printed it at Walmart or something and cut it out because I love this picture so much because it's my reading section. So it makes sense to keep it there. And then I think this little tiny um, paper clip is from Jane's Agenda subscription box from somewhere along the line. Okay, and then I've got all of my reading stuff. I've got my Master Plan 365 information in here from, oops, from Jane's Agenda. I'm just going to move that because it's copying the ink here. Okay, not looking so good. Okay, so I've got uh, month one and two in there, but as soon as I get rid of month one, I think that'll also help me a little bit because there's a lot of notes in there. I am all done with my setup. Um, at the back, I forgot to kind of point this out. So I've got my project section and then I have another page lifter. These are from, oh goodness, I can't remember if they're from um, Jane's Agenda or Cloth and Paper. 
I know I have two packs, but I can't remember. Um, again, these, these are from Jane's Agenda, but I don't know if these are from Fancy Plants Co. or Jane's Agenda. These are from Cloth and Paper, um, little post-its. And then I have, of course, my um, task cards back here, which I'll, I'll include the monthly one when I'm done. Um, and then my stickers, I was thinking of putting like a, like a, an envelope back here, but I don't think I'll have enough room, but I need some way to like hold all my stickers, <laughs> but pretty much any time that I will be planning, I'll be at home anyway. So I don't think it matters if I have them with me or not. Um, so I'm just going to keep those back there. I can keep these guys back there because there's like, they're so, you know, there's hardly any of them. Like they're not that difficult to keep. So I'll keep those. And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this month's setup. Let me know in the comments what your favorite part was. <laughs> and uh, I know I'm sad to leave my other binder, but it had to be done, guys. I have to switch. I get so bored if I don't. So please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you are new, please consider subscribing. And if you aren't new and you've just been watching, I would love if you would also subscribe because it would help me out um, growing my channel and just, you know, continuing that upward growth. Also, sharing the video, leaving comments, all of that helps with the YouTube algorithm. So I do appreciate when you guys leave um, positive feedback or, you know, constructive feedback too. Like it really helps me improve for you. And um, also click the bell button to be notified when I upload new content. Again, I will have my weekly video the day after today. So the day after tomorrow, <laughs> I'll have it tomorrow. Um, by the time you guys see this, it'll be posted the next day. And then I'll also have, I think I'm going to do a compact video because I'm going to switch my binder. So we'll do a compact and then we'll also, um, um, we'll have a bullet journal and my goal video will be posting soon as well. So thank you guys again, and we will see you in the next one. Bye.